All right. Hello, everyone. My name is Holly Copeland, and I am so delighted to be here with you all this morning. I am a human potential coach and biofield tuning practitioner, which is a form of sound healing that we're going to do today, and also a meditation teacher. And I work with subtle energy meditation and awareness practices, like um, the practices that I have trained in and have been most profound in my life um, are informed by the Tibetan traditions of Dzogchen and Mahamudra. And so these are awareness-based or direct path um, types of meditations. And so I'm going to guide you. What we'll do today is I'll guide you in an awareness-based meditation. And then I'm going to transition into a tuning fork healing. Um, and what I will do is um, when we move into that section of it, I will be um, putting a hologram of everyone that is listening right in front of me. So you can just know that I, you are included, you and anyone who listens are included in this healing, sound healing um, hologram, this remote healing. So um, but what I would like to do to begin and before we go into the meditation is just describe a little bit about biofield tuning, because I think it's helpful to get a sense for, for this healing modality. And so in biofield tuning, we work with the biofield or the, the auric field, which is around each of us, it extends about six feet out and we're all energetic beings. Everything is energy. And um, in biofield tuning, what we do is I use tuning forks to scan through the field and your body, which is listening, will um, naturally come into resonance or harmony with the fork. And so anything that is dissonant um, and is not matching that um, will release. And so inviting you to just feel and tune into that and notice in your own body, what's happening as I bring the tuning forks into it. You may feel a pain or a twinge. You may feel a release. Um, so just inviting you to tune into that as I'm working. Um, Eileen McCusick that um, developed this method actually came up with a, a tuning map of the aura of the biofield. And each of us has, um, there are certain patterns that are stored in the field that that are consistent um, across people. So I'm gonna give an example. Off the right knee is where patterns of feeling blocked moving forward. So if you're somebody who has right knee issues, just think about whether or not you feel like there's obstacles in your path moving forward. Left knee is about um, feeling held in the past or attached to something in the past. And in fact, I worked with somebody yesterday and as we were working, she felt her left knee release. Um, and it took us like a tingling feeling and an opening feeling. Um, so I'm not gonna explain the whole map um, because there's a lot of details, but I just want you to be aware that we're working off this map of, um, this energetic map of the biofield. Um, and so I'm actually, I'm not sure exactly where I'm gonna to work today. I'm going to intuitively be guided to where to, to, where to work. And I'll do a little bit of, um, yeah. I'll use my pendulum to guide me into where we're gonna to work today with the group. But um, I'm gonna just pause there. Okay. And before we do the biofield tuning, we're going to do a dive into awareness, just to come back into the true knowing of who and what you are. Okay. So just inviting you all to close your eyes now. And take some nice gentle breaths into your belly. And just allow yourself to Tune inside, come inside. And 
do a nice cleansing exhale. And on the inhale, feel like the pranic energy is filling your whole body. And on the exhale, allowing all of that energy to simply be released and composted by the earth. And then feel the weight of your body in the chair, the bed, whatever you're sitting on. Feel the weight of your hips, the weight of your feet on the floor. Let yourself really sink down and feel supported by the earth. So your whole body is being held by this beautiful planet that we are on. Feel up into your shoulders, your spine, and allow it to relax. You might breathe gently into your shoulders, And on the exhale, allow that energy to travel down in through your hips and down out through your tailbone. Allow your forehead, your jaw, your face to relax. Might feel your eyes just falling back into their sockets. So your whole body is open and receptive. And if you can make yourself just even 5% more comfortable somehow by moving or shifting or adjusting, do that. And then feel like there's a string attached to the top of your head and it's pulling your spine gently upright. If this feels comfortable for you. And we come to the most fundamental knowing that you are never separate. You are never apart from your true self. awareness. So notice that before you do anything, before I do anything, I am aware. Awareness is here and you aren't doing anything to make it happen. And notice and if you were to imagine that you were floating in space and you could drop absolutely everything that you know about your being, you drop your name, you drop your history. So you have no history and no knowing of who and what you are. Drop everything that you can possibly drop that you've ever known about you so that all that remains is this simple knowing. 
the simple beingness or presence of you. And just let yourself feel into this presence of you. Feel the clarity and the simplicity of this essential being, this essential knowing of you. And start to notice some of the qualities of this beingness, this awareness. Notice, for example, that awareness has no edges or boundaries. So you might make this true for you by just going out into any direction. So go above you, up into the sky and see if you can find an edge to awareness. If you think you found one, just pour space into space until it opens up. Going down to the earth. Left and right, so you really feel that there's just no edge to awareness. And similarly, notice that awareness doesn't come or go in time. So you can drop absolutely everything you've ever known about yourself. But this beingness of you is omnipresent. It's always here. It can't leave you. And really notice this for yourself. This isn't something you're reading about or something I'm telling you. It's not a belief. It's actually your felt experience that you don't come and go in time. Thoughts and feelings come and go. The sound of my voice. Every experience you've ever had will come and will go. But you are not an experience. You are not an object. And in you, this timeless, boundless you that you really are, notice this sense of equanimity that you can be with whatever's happening, not needing to fix or change anything. There's a kind of allowing of everything that's happening without judgment, without needing to label it. So just see what happens if you just allow whatever is happening, which is what you already are doing as awareness. Notice that thoughts and sensations may arise. And you're simply aware. You're simply just knowing. Knowing the sound of my voice. If you feel any physical pain in your body, you're knowing the pain. Knowing any thought, what, what you had for breakfast. There's just a simple knowing.
and feel this being that you are, this knowing essential presence is totally whole. Because if you're infinite and you're timeless, then you're whole. You're perfect just as you are. And yes, all different types of things may arise. Feelings may arise, joy may arise, pain may arise. But you are not arising. You actually are already here and already whole and perfect. You can't go anywhere to leave you. Where would you go? And in this is a real essential truth that you're not waiting to become something, to become some better version of you out there in the future. There isn't a better version of you somewhere. That's simply a thought, an idea in the mind but you aren't the idea in the mind. You are that which is aware. You're the knowing. You're not an object. There is not a better version of you somewhere in the future. You are absolutely perfect just as you are. And let this knowingness of your own perfection, your own divinity, seep into every cell of your body. So you feel it like a light all the way down to your toes, informing every cell of your body. that you are okay, everything is okay as it is. And even if some part of you, some part in your body is telling you otherwise, just go to it like a mother would comfort a child. It's a welcome here, it's allowed. Bring it into your arms and breathe love into any space that believes it's separate.
any part that feels inadequate. You might say, I've got this to that part. You're okay. You're welcome. So we're not pushing anything away. Everything can just be here as it is. And turn your attention to the body as a whole, feeling the whole body from the inside out. Notice there's no inside or outside. There's just awareness. An energy arising as your body in physical form. So now I'm going to bring in some tuning forks. I'm going to start by activating the earth and the sun star. And the earth star is the chakra it's about eight inches below your feet. So I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to do that now. Just going to adjust my audio setting. I'm going to stand up. This earth star below the feet is connected into the ground. So I want everybody to please just imagine and sense that you have tree roots attached to the bottom of your feet and they're gonna open up and all the energy can just flow down into the earth and Mother Earth will compost it. So anything at all that's not serving you can come down and can flush down through your body and go into the earth. What it feels like to me is just feeling kind of tightly wound. I feel some tension in my chest here. So again, just allow the energy, breathe in through your belly. And just allow that energy to travel down through your root chakra into the earth.
I also feel a lot of energy in my throat. It feels like I can't speak my truth. So part of the reason that our earth chakra or earth star can get mm, clogged. It's like we feel hell that we're, we're afraid to speak our truth. So just again, breathe into your throat. You could even tone Om or ah into your throat. Ah, to allow yourself to release that energy. Ah. There we go. Okay, now I'm going to turn and send this energy up through your spine. So imagine that there's a column of light ascending from your, below your feet up through your spine. There we go. Yeah, and I feel this energy traveling all the way up through my spine. I hope you do too. Opening it up. Good. I'm going to use a crystal here with the feet just to add some sparkly energy here. You won't hear this because I'm working with a weighted fork. But believe me, it's working. I feel some tension in my left wrist. Forearm. It feels like so the left wrist and forearms about mother and relationship to mother. So let's send loving and healing light to all mothers. Anything that you might feel that you're carrying from your mother that's not yours, you're free to give back. It's not yours. So you might say, Mom, I give you back your guilt or shame. It's too big a weight for me to carry. So you see you don't need to carry forward what isn't yours. And 
interestingly, as I do that, I feel a coolness in my right scapula. See what you notice. Okay. <sighs> Again, use the breath to clear out. Any of this dissonance as we clear it. Come up to the throat and just open up the throat here. Yeah, there was a pretty big dissonance here. I don't know if you can hear that, but the fork is quite, it's sort of like angry almost. The fork really sounds to me very sharp, very angry. I don't know how else to. So I'm actually going to put some crystal in the throat now. with everything going on in the world and all the chaos. It's activating for, I think, a lot of us, this sense of anger and not being able to speak our truth or not being heard. Okay, that's coming up, that's better. come up to the sun star and then we might come back to the throat here. So the sun star is the opposite of the earth star. The earth star is eight inches below our feet. The sun star is about eight inches above our head and contains information about your life purpose, uh, your soul purpose for being here. So we're going to activate that center now. And again, inviting you to breathe down, breathe in through your chest, breathe down into the earth. Allowing anything that's not serving you to be composted by the earth. And what I sense and feel here is just a lot of confusion, the confusion about life purpose. Feeling a little 
in the forest of the world. And I want you to know that this clarity that you seek is the clarity is actually right here. It never leaves you. It's not something you need to create. It's more of a falling away of anything that is an idea or something you're holding on to. So come back into this knowing of you as infinite and timeless. There we go. That's better. I don't know if you can hear how much clearer the fork is now. So good work, everyone. For coming back to the clarity and knowing that you are infinite and timeless and boundless, and made of light and love, that's actually what's true. You are not an idea. You are not a feeling even. You are pure consciousness arising as love in this body. I'm going to send this energy down from the top of your head through, so connecting you into the sun. And imagine that there is a light from above and it's flooding down in through your body. Maybe you have a little sunroof that opens up and this light just pours down through your body. So there's a column of light lighting you up from the inside. Good. Put some crystal here. I'm going to come back to the throat to do a little more throat clearing. So it feels like the session today is really about our ability to speak our truth. I'm going to come now to the back of the throat. The back is where we receive messages or information from the divine. So I'm going to also open this back throat up so that all of these messages from the divine, divine FM, as it were, comes through you perfectly. It's like we're tuning the radio of you. So this perfect song of you can sing forth through the radio. We don't want any fuzz in the channel. We don't want to be off the channel in any way, but perfectly tuned. So feel that for yourself, like you're tuning in to the perfect channel of you to radiate forth into the world as light and love. It's really all any of us are here for, just to sing our song, to sing the divine song that we are. 
through form arising as our bodies. <sighs> and maybe you tone a little bit more just to allow that song to speak through you like an A, ah, uh, whatever is comfortable for you. Or maybe it's a different tone. We'll come in with the crystal here in the back of the throat. There we go. What I say in my work with people is this awareness is the ground. This is where you can land this true knowing of you as infinite and timeless. True knowing of you is fully unconditionally loving, able to be with whatever is happening in this moment. And I think we often get confused about what unconditional love, like it's something that we have to make happen. But actually, unconditional love is your natural state. It's what you are. Because to be unconditionally loving is to be able to be with whatever is happening in this moment. It's not something you have to make happen. It's what you are. So you can just rest in the knowing that you here now are enough. Nothing needs to be any different than it is right now for you to be okay. You already are okay, this fundamental knowing. We can stop trying to make the world conform to how we would like it to be so we can be okay. Which is where all the struggle lies. It's ringing out pretty nicely now. I'm just going to do a little closing sequence here. Just wrapping your body up in a rainbow cocoon. Encased in rainbow light. Connecting thy will to divine will. And thanking all of the guides. Thanking all of the guides and beings that are here with us in this healing session. Thanking you for being here. And um, if you are interested in 
any additional biofield tuning sessions with me, healing sessions. I have a program called Awaken, Heal, Breathe, and I work with people in um, a combination of awakening awareness practices like the meditation I led today and biofield tuning and breath work, a breath work modality called Breath of Love. And I integrate that in a coaching package I call Awaken, Heal, Breathe really working with people on the soul level, on the physical body level to help people come into unshakable joy, peace, calm, and clarity. So, and you can find out information about that on my website, heartmindalchemy.com. And um, if you, I offer just uh, free 30 minute consultation sessions. If you just want to talk to me and see if the program might be right for you, um, I do that and I would love to speak with you. Um, and uh, I also have guided meditations on my Insight Timer channel. So you can find me, Holly Aaron Copeland. You can find me there as well for many more meditations like the one that I led today. So. I really um, send you so much love and blessings and wherever you are in the world, just wishing you all the best. Thank you so much for being here.